Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Thursday, the 11th week in ordinary time. Our morning prayer today begins on page 512. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Teach us, Lord God, to rejoice in your word, to take it to heart, to pattern our lives on your love, a love to which you bore testimony through the precious blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A reading from Psalm 119. Your laws are wonderful. No wonder I obey them. The teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. I pant with expectation, longing for your commands. Come and show me your mercy, as you do for all who love your name. Guide my steps by your word, so I will not be overcome by evil. Ransom me from the oppression of evil people, then I can obey your commandments. Look upon me with love. Teach me your decrees. Rivers of tears gush from my eyes because people disobey your instructions. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our morning hymn for today is on page 736, hymn number 24. Softly now the light of day fades upon my sight away. Free from care and labor free, Lord, I would commune with thee. Thou whose all-pervading eye naught escapes without, within, pardon each infirmity open fault and secret sin. Soon for me the light of day shall forever pass away, then from sin and sorrow free, take me, Lord, to dwell with thee. Thou who sinless yet hast known of all man's infirmity, then from thine eternal throne, Jesus, look with pity and eye. Our scripture reading for this morning's prayer is from 1 Peter. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. If you have the gift of speaking, then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. If you have the gift of helping others, do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, truly strong and invincible. May your whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You set forth your spirit and they were formed, for no one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. At your presence, rocks shall melt with wax. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. We thirst for you, loving Savior. Unleash your glory and might. Keep us in the shadow of your wings and satisfy with the rock a rich and bounteous feast. Uphold us with your strong right hand and defend us 
from the assaults of the evil one. Fill us with laughter that we may harvest your gift of joy. Be for us the bread of life. Be for us salvation's cup. We pray for all those traveling today, O oh Lord. We pray for Abby traveling to her doctor today up north. We pray for those that are recovering from surgeries today, that you bring them swift and complete healing. We pray for those looking for spiritual answers, that they hear the Holy Spirit speak and follow his guiding. Lord, I pray for those that profess to be Christians, that we live as Christians. We live as followers of the way and model our lives after Christ and the saints that have gone before us. Forgive us of our laziness. Forgive us of our unconcern for others. Forgive us for abusing you and your mercy. And draw us close to your heavenly kingdom. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of power and might, in ancient times you brought Israel forth from bondage to settle in a land flowing with milk and honey. In our own day, bless our labors with an abundance of your grace, so that in all that we do, the boundlessness of your blessing and love may be revealed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld His glory. The glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, thank you for joining with me for this brief moment of prayer today. May you spend this day in an attitude of prayer, looking to God for all things, and walking with Jesus hand in hand today. May he guide you and see you through all the cares that you face this day until tonight when we all lay down our head in peace to find rest in him. God bless you and keep you.